Bolt Action, Battle Report, Big Cat Point Defense. A platoon of US paratroopers were ordered to defend three key buildings just south of saint moy glise from a German counter-attack. German Fallschirmjäger units moved towards the defenders' positions quickly, without firing. until the calm of the late morning was broken by the distant roar of a V-12 Maybach engine. The Panther tank burst through the barrage and removed the US light artillery unit from the top of the hill with its first shot. This was the signal for the Fallschirmjäger units to open fire on both flanks, taking the US paratroopers by surprise. the US paratroopers immediately called for whatever support vehicles were available. This was answered by the reconnaissance unit consisting of an M18 Hellcat and an M8 Greyhound armoured car. The Hellcat caught the big cat napping and hit the side armour with its heavy anti-tank gun. Amazingly the crew were just stunned as a number of shirts and armour plates were thrown from the tank in the explosion. Fire! Outgunned, the reconnaissance Hellcat retreated, only to find itself in the gun sights of the Panther's super heavy anti-tank gun. It was all over for the brave crew. The right flank collapsed as infantry units overran the defending US paratroopers, supported by the Panther. However, on the left flank, it was a different story as the advancing German Fallschirmjäger units were pinned down in the outlying buildings by the heavy machine gun on the Greyhound armoured car. This firefight would be won or lost in the centre of the battlefield where the old ruin was defended by the remaining US paratroopers. This key objective was all but lost, until the advancing Panther, supporting the German Fallschirmjäger, was pinned down by the brave actions of a lone bazooka team. This allowed the US paratroopers to stall the final push and the encounter was seen as a draw, with no one side gaining an overall advantage.